Paper rulers are installed throughout the roof cavity to ensure the exact thickness of insulation is blown into the attic to maintain an R30 or R38 insulation value. R30 is the standard roof insulation in an Oak Creek industrialized home. The Oak Creek home is constructed with a very tall heel area of the roof truss to allow for a more even distribution of insulation in the roof. Various climate conditions in the country require additional amounts of insulation to meet specific thermal conditions. The achieved R value of the insulation is determined by a general average thickness across the roof surface. Now that the basic home components are constructed, floor, wall, and roof, assembly of the home begins. Starting with the floor, four exterior walls are attached. A thick bead of caulk is added to stop all possible air penetration into the home. Once the caulk is laid down, the wall is placed into position and screwed to the floor with large four and a half inch screws, which are placed down the entire wall at 16 inch centers. All walls that join are also caulked, nailed, and screwed together in this manner. Plumbing drain lines, as well as water lines that come through the floor, are caulked and foam sealed to stop all air penetration. In order to meet IRC and energy codes, the water heater is wrapped in a thermal blanket and placed on a drip pan with all pipes insulated for heat loss. An anti-clatter valve is then installed to stop clatter noise. The temperature pressure valve as well as the pan drain are piped outside the home per IRC code. The top corners of each exterior wall are notched in construction so that the top plates can be interconnected for complete stability. After all interior and exterior walls are in position and tied together, the roof section is lifted from the ceiling jig and secured in place, again using the four and a half inch screws every eight inches on center. Wiring of the home begins as soon as the roof is in place. All lighting and receptacle circuits are either 12 or 14 gauge copper wire. Unlike most manufactured homes, the circuits are threaded from the top to avoid wall punctures and possible damage. Larger wiring for the furnace, range, and dryer are in the subfloor and fed from below. Receptacle boxes and recepts are installed and then caulked to stop all air infiltration through the walls. With all wiring in place, cellulose insulation is blown into the roof cavity using the measured guides to ensure a true R30 or R38 insulation value average in the entire attic cavity. Next, 20 gauge Simpson Hurricane straps are attached to each roof trellis and to the wall stud directly beneath each rafter. In addition to the Simpson strap, another 26 gauge steel strap is added at every stud to secure the roof to the wall and the wall to the floor. These are required to meet the 120 mile per hour wind load that Oak Creek has designed its modular homes to adhere to. Now the home, its floor, walls, and roof are basically sealed. Homes designed for the 140 mile per hour ratings include an increased amount of straps, fasteners, and clips. In most cases, long threaded rods with large washers and lock nuts are required from the roof down through the wall and protruding from the bottom of the floor framing to meet the high wind conditions. Roof decking of 7 16 inch OSB is installed using expansion H clips and then the entire roof is covered with a 30 pound roll of felt shingle underlayment commonly called tar paper. High quality, 20 year, 210 pound, three tab shingles are now mechanically nailed down to comply with the 120 or 140 mile per hour wind load requirements. To comply, each shingle must be attached with six nails, not the four nail pattern of most site built and manufactured homes. Exterior siding is the last structural item added before the home leaves the plant property. Here, 7 16 inch thick OSB is installed. Owens Corning True Wrap over the OSB creates a protective barrier against air infiltration and unwanted moisture. 
In addition to sealing out air, it is designed to allow damaging water vapor to escape from inside the home. And then either Smart Lap or Semplank Lap by Hardy is applied and painted. Smart Lap or Semplank Lap by Hardy are options most customers order. However, Smart Panel and Semplank Panel are available if desired. After painting the exterior, the home leaves the plant and proceeds to the yard for tape, texture, paint, and make ready. And final finish is when all walls are ready for tape and bedding. The walls are sanded and checked for any nicks and other areas needing adjustment. Texture is mixed to the correct consistency and applied to all sheetrock joints, nail marks, and any noticeable blemishes. All seams are taped, floated, and left to dry. After drying, a second float is applied to assure smooth wall finish. Again, this coat is left to dry before painting. After painting, any blemishes are re-sanded and repainted. This assures our customer a quality finish. After the first coat of paint is applied, the final touches are added per the customer's order. Here, a rolled ceramic tile edge is being added to match the backsplash in the kitchen. Many other options are available upon request and are added at this time. After final finish, the home is final inspected, thoroughly cleaned, sealed from the weather, and readied for transportation. The home is moved to a staging area where it can be picked up by a transport carrier so that the new home can be delivered to the proud new homeowner. This is an outstanding example of what a homeowner can do after the home is set on their property. Given its use of superior materials, unmatched craftsmanship, and overall commitment to quality, the investment in an Oak Creek home is one that will give any family years of lasting enjoyment.